Save files. Often taken for granted, these keepers of data maintain our precious memories, high achievements, world records, or unfinished journeys. Slots, blocks, bytes, each representing a journey and experience frozen in time, each of them waiting for us to log back in, to allow the universe contained within to exist once more, or to be shown off to the world. Or, in some cases, to be snooped on by baddies trying to mess with your mind. So, you like Zoe Coden. If your childhood saves are still preserved on these small data cards, Congrats, you're holding on to a very special thing. Like scrapbooks of our gaming experiences, often a memory of our moments of escape, where things were nice when they otherwise would not be, these memories cannot be replicated nor recovered once lost. Just like the universes within these blocks, the saves themselves are very much frozen in time, locked onto an outdated medium that can no longer be used and is easily lost or corrupted. Let's act before it's too late, recover and preserve these precious moments forever, and also allow them to be continued with modern technology. It's time to protect your lost saves. This guide will focus on managing your PS1 memory cards using a PC. There are alternate methods we can cover in future videos if you have an original PlayStation still and some accessories, or a PlayStation 3. But for this I wanted to explore my dream scenario as a kid having a PlayStation memory card slot on my PC. This would be best if you just don't have a PS1 anymore and want to back up your memory cards, or found some used ones and you want to see what's on them, or specifically you want to transfer up your old saves to play on PlayStation emulators like DuckStation. Or maybe you just like seeing how these things tick. For this, you will need a USB memory card adapter. The official memory card adapters released by Sony for the PlayStation 3 can be had very cheap on the used market, linked below, which is what I have here. But there's also a handful of third-party adapters for the PS3 that will work here too, or you could go even more old school and get the old Interact Dex Drive for PS1 memory cards for a reasonable cost too. Grab one of these and the required USB cable for your device. I'm using the official original Sony adapter here, and it uses a mini USB cable. If you're younger or just haven't used older tech in a while, you may not have seen this much. It differs from the micro USB that more recent phones and controllers used. This is the same cable that the PlayStation 3 controller used to connect to the PS3. Connect this to your PC with the USB cable, then we'll use the free Zadig driver manager to find your device. It should show up as unknown device, and you specifically want to make sure the device ID shown is 054C02EA. Hovering your cursor over this will show Sony as well. Click Edit on the right, then rename the device to PS3 Memory Card Adapter, and click Install Driver. Make sure it's WinUSB, the driver that it selected. Once it completes, close the program. Next, we'll use the Orion PlayStation 1 Memory Card Manager. Orion makes a lot of neat tools for managing retro games and developing for them. This one only works with the official PS3 memory card adapter, so if you have the Dex Drive or another similar device, I'll show a second program for you in a moment. Run the memory card manager and click Read from PS3 MCA. Once it loads your memory card, you have the option to save the whole memory card to a file, save specific save files to individual MCS files, delete your saves or import saves and write them back to the card. If some saves aren't showing up, try checking the Corrupt Saves checkbox here, as some official saves apparently don't process their headers correctly and need this to work. Your mileage may vary. With this, you have a lovely interface to back up and manage your memory cards. You can back up your saves to use in emulators, just preserve in general, or you can download game saves from the internet and write them back to the memory card if you want to explore other people's completed games. Now, if you have another device to access your memory cards, or you want another option, you can also use the MemCard Rex program from Z Freeman or Shindo XT on GitHub. This one works similarly, just looks a little different. You can open virtual memory card files and manage them, or click hardware and read from a variety of devices. Then you can export virtual memory cards, individual saves, import saves, delete saves, and format the memory card entirely to erase it. Just remember, any changes you make in this window require you to click Hardware, write changes to hardware for your device to actually write it back to the card. MemCard Rex has a few neat plugins built in that allow you to directly edit or modify save files for Final Fantasy VII, Crash Team Racing, Metal Gear Solid, and Spiral the Dragon to alter your save and unlock extra stuff, kind of like cheats without a game shark. Just be sure to back up your save before tinkering with these. 
From here, you can either directly select these MCR files, no, not that MCR, in DuckStation as your virtual memory cards to use, or you can use the built-in editor in DuckStation to find your archive MCR files and import individual saves from them into your DuckStation cards. Easy peasy. If you did this, you took a very big step in keeping your gaming history intact. With modern gaming wanting to completely take control and ownership away from us, every ounce of control we can take back to own our experiences is crucial. It's crazy to think at one point in time, PlayStation aimed to provide full lifetime backwards compatibility and released accessories to let us move our save files over to. Whew, things have changed so much. To keep digging and preserving your PS1 games, click this video on how to rip and dump your PS1 game discs. Remember to be kind. Rewind.